Hi friends, it's Miss Cassens here. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see how to access your art projects. So my screen will look a little bit different because I am a teacher, but your notifications and your profile will be over here on the left. And then you're gonna go ahead and uh, click whatever grade uh, that you're in. So I'm gonna show you what it would look like, for instance, for third grade. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on third grade. And again, I'm gonna have a lot of extra things over here that you're not gonna see. But what you wanna look for is going to be your modules. So modules is here, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on modules. And then when you scroll down, you'll see week one. So there's no art for week one, so you're gonna go ahead and keep scrolling. And you'll see that when it has art, it's not, you're not able to click it. Now week two is when art started. So you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're going to see art, yay! And now I'm going to go ahead and click on found object color wheel. So that is your first assignment. And then it's going to walk you through uh, what that assignment is. So it gives you an image first, a preview. So the found object color wheel is going to be objects that you find around your house or outside, even in your fridge maybe. And you're gonna find all of these colors. So you're gonna do kind of like a scavenger hunt. And then <clears throat> it gives you a little description of uh, what the color wheel is, all the colors that are in the color wheel, what warm colors are, what cool colors are, the order of the color wheel. So remember it's Roy G Biv. P is uh, a common word for violet, which is V, Roy G Biv. Then it's gonna show you what the complementary colors are. All of these things are just reviews. You're going to go down here and hit next. Now you're going to see where you can be able to submit your artwork. So it's going to say, let's create. There's gonna be a link here. If you click on that link, it's gonna take you to a video and that video is gonna explain uh, all of these things that are in writing to you verbally. And then you're gonna read through step one, step two, step three, and step four. So you'll notice that for third grade, the first step is that you're going to look around your house and yard for items that are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Find at least one item of each color. Your second step. Now you're going to make your color wheel on a table or floor. Start with your primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. Lay them in a big triangle. Step three. Place the secondary colors, orange, green, purple, in the correct spots on your color wheel. Now you're going to take a photo of that. Okay, so you're gonna have one photo that you take. Your, your fourth step is you're going to group your items into three piles for each of the three pairs of complementary colors. So you're gonna make three piles, you're gonna put your complementary colors together, and then you're gonna take a photo of that. Then there'll be an option for you right over here where you can submit your work. Because I'm a teacher, it's not going to allow me to do that. And then that's gonna take you, uh, if you hit next, it's gonna take you straight into module three. Now, if you uh, already submitted your color wheel, you're done with that, you wanna go to week three. You can go back to your module, scroll all the way down, week two. And here's week three. And then you're going to see your example here, which is ancient Egyptian profile portraits. You're going to click on that. And then as you scroll down, you're going to go ahead and read the directions for that. Keep going. The link for week three is currently broken. So I sent you a notification in the announcement section, which is right here. Or you can also look on the school story in Class Dojo. It will show you that. So these links right here, uh, um, this link does not work, this link is the new one, okay? And then you're just gonna keep going next and then it'll give you an option for you to submit your assignment. 
If you would like to submit your assignment, you can submit it by taking a picture uh, on your computer. If you are using a Mac like I am, you can open up your photo booth and I will show you what that looks like. I don't have my photo booth open, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. So photo booth would open up down here. Hi, hello. So what you could do is you could actually take whatever it is that you have, your artwork that you have drawn, you could hold it up to the camera like this and then you could take a picture. And then now that you have your picture, you could actually upload that if that's easier for you. So you don't have to take a picture on your phone, send it to comp your computer and then upload it. If you are using the Canvas app, it's really simple how you do that. Um, it's really nice, um, it, that feature is really nice. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me guys, but um, the easiest way to do it is go through here. If I make any comments for you, you'll see it over here on announcements. So you have all these announcements over here on the right that you can see all of your um, comments and things like that. If you are still confused and you really need help, you can go over here to hit the inbox and then you can click this button right here, compose a new message. And then you're going to, ha it'll give you the option for my name right up here. And then you can just write art help. And then Mrs. Cassins, help me please. And then you're just gonna go ahead and hit send and that goes right to me. Thanks guys, have a great day.